Anyway, hello, welcome to Game Just P. I'm Chris, and today I'm inside the vault on our first tutorial, and this one's going to be about missiles. Um, the missiles are part of the ICBM mod if you want to go download it separately, and you also need the mod. Um, I uh, also need the mod in dust, not industrial, universal electricity to power them. Um, there's a bunch of other mods on the universal electricity page as well. We're not actually using Volts on this server, but it's got all the mods that Volts has. Uh, we're using our own pack, so you might see a couple of things on the creative interface that Volts doesn't have, like industrial craft and things. Anyway, we're just focusing on ICBM. What's it called that? Whatever I. Yeah, it is. So, in front of me, you see a rage. A rage. A line, rage. <laughs> a rage. An alignment GG. of um, different missile launchers. So this one's green, it's actually got a missile in it. Uh, this one's red and this one's blue. You're probably thinking, oh god, what does that mean? And they've also got different computers. And this is the different tiers. So the green one's tier one, the red one's tier two, and the blue one's tier three. So three being the best one. If I click inside the little monitor display here, you can see when I click inside it, it's got the missile target, which is the coordinates, so you can even do that by pressing F3 somewhere or using something else, which I'll show off later. Um, it's got an axe of 15 blocks, and this is how much power, and that will go green when it's ready to launch, but it's not going to launch because it's set to the coordinates it's standing on, and you can't launch it really close. Um, this one's got, this is tier 2, it's got an axe of 7 blocks, which means it'll fire within 7 blocks around this. Um, this bit can tell you how high you want it to go, and if you want to explode it in the air, um, which is pretty damn cool. And uh, this one over here, tier 3, we're here dead on target. Um, it can do how high it is, and you can also have it wireless, so you can fire it from wherever you want. Which is pretty cool, but first we're going to go over how to set one of these things up. And I did have all of the parts in my inventory, but uh, somehow they've got eaten by a badger or something, I don't know. Anyway, what you need is a launch platform. Uh, these are made by... Ooh, Let's go and do that. These are made by bronze and a basic circuit or control circuit. So if I just plop that down there, you can see it's got the sort of thing. You can't put a missile in it yet because you need a support frame. And the support frames, which is tier one again, you can't mix the tiers together. It's a bunch of bronze in a sort of H shape. And then you go put that uh, oh god, I got stuck inside it. Go put that behind it like that. And then you need the um, launcher control panel again. Has to be the same tier. Glass around the edge, a control basic circuit or control circuit, insulated copper wire or copper wire um, as well at the bottom. There you go. And then what you need to do is connect up to a bat box uh, so it gets some form of power. Uh, it doesn't really matter what side you put it in, but I normally put it in from the bottom because of neat purposes for, for you know. Um, what I've done, I've got a bat box here, blacks output, remember if you're using SFAX, and I've got an infinite battery in it just for tutorial purposes. Um, there we go, it's now filled up. Which is pretty cool. So what you want to do in order to fire a missile from this is for starters put a lever or a button next to it so you can fire it. And you probably want to put where you want to fire it to. So we're actually going to fire it over here. Let's fire it over here. Um, so we've got something called a radar gun. Um, so if you just click somewhere it will scan the coordinates for you. And if you fly back over here they have got a charge. You can see it's gone down at the bottom. Um, which is a bit annoying because you have to charge it up all the time. You press shift and then do it, it says coordinate item, coordinates transferred, and there you go, it's got those coordinates in there now. And if I go and get a missile, um, you have to, you can only use green ones, they're the tier 1 missiles, let's just get a conventional missile and uh, place it in the silo. You can either go on the, it's got a little UI there, um, or you can play, just place it like that, and then just pull the lever, and it, there you go, it shot off into the sky and it should come straight back down within 15 blocks of the little target. So you can see I actually targeted on this hill somewhere and it's hit inside the forest. So that's why you probably want to work out for getting a tier three. Um, there's loads of different missiles inside the pack. Um, there, I'm just gonna show you a couple of them now. So these are all the tier one missiles here. We've got some, um, this one makes a load of fire go for it. This one makes anvils. Um, this one makes blocks blow away from it. This puts chemicals everywhere. This makes shrapnel, and this makes all blocks come towards it. These are all the tier two, so this is uh, contagious. Do not put a contagious missile <laughs> down. Oh my god! You, you get blindness, and if someone else has the contagious bug, and you walk next to them, you'll also get it. It's really annoying. Uh, nuclear cluster, which just load a nuclear bombs cluster. 
fire everywhere. I've got two nuclear clusters in it. Uh, there's a, a missile here, I'm not sure what that one does. There's a sonic missile that explodes loads of stuff and makes an annoying noise. Another nuclear cluster. Fragmentation <laughs> missile makes loads of makes an explosion and makes loads of bits of um, like fire particles come off. Cluster missiles just uh, loads of uh, normal standard missiles and they just disperse like a nuclear one. Anti-ballistic missile, I'm not 100% sure what that one does. And there's a therm thermobaric missile which makes everything on fire and there's another nuclear cluster which is not on the OCD on the nuclear cluster missiles. Um, in here we've got a red matter missile. They make a massive ball that won't stop. It will just explode everything in its path or we'll fire them off. They're actually banned on our server. Uh, we've got a normal nuclear missile, EMP, which will fry anyone's electrics. Uh, we've got um, endothermic, which is ice everywhere. Ender missile will suck you to the end, put endermen everywhere. Hypersonic matter explosion. Anti-gravity, make all the stuff go up in the air. And antimatter, which is also banned on our server. Absolutely fucking massive hole. There's also one other way you can launch the tier 1 missiles, and that's with something um, that I've got in my inventory here called a rocket launcher. These have to be charged up, and what you can do is literally just fire it and you can see that I've just fired it there and uh, oh my god it's just set everything on fire uh, if I fire an anvil missile it's one of my favorite uh, it didn't do a very good job there I think it's because the server's not very happy with us because all the anvils earlier um, it should make a massive explosion of anvils everywhere but it's it's not quite happening because the server's not feeling the love today I've got an attractive missile um, chemical missile or repulsive missile and a shrapnel missile I'll just show the shrapnel one off there we go, it's made, it does bigger ones than this, but for some reason it's not working. Also, you can use one of these. Um, this is very similar to what these do, but they're sort of more, you can sort of aim them and things a bit better and they fire them directly at mobs. This is only for tier 2 and under though, um, which is a bit annoying. There we go, there we go, you see there's a little missile in it. Um, so, tier 3 missiles can only be fired by the tier 2 component. So, that's basically it for all of the... Um, all of the missile stuff you can go and experiment yourself all the different missiles or I might make a video later on just to show you what they do but there's rather a lot and I think everyone would prefer it if I didn't make massive holes all around the server um, so if I just fly over to our base you can sort of make things like this um, just have loads of them here uh, that will just rock it up into the sky when they're ready and we've also got this in here which is one of our nuclear silos which is just full of um, things wait a minute that was that was the unnamed missile I think yeah. Morning, it? Oh, yeah, it is. Anyway, the unnamed missile does nothing. Um, I'll see you Wait, next time, is... guys. Um, you know, it just makes a big orange line. See you next time, guys. Explodes. I'll probably be going over EMP and radars. I did make a tutorial on that, but it glitched. Um, see you next. Oh, one more, one last thing. These do have an annoying bug, though, when putting them up with power. Sometimes they get stuck at 799, and that's because you put the missile in them and then put charge in them. Put a missile in them, then put the computer down, then charge them up, or put the missile in them before they've charged up. Uh, that sometimes happens. If it happens again, just break it and replace all the cables to copper with normal copper wire, and it should fix your bug. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.